I was just at a point where I just wanted to be alone. It was probably the darkest point in life for me. Football didn't matter anymore. It was just hard to like want to do anything. He said, I've given football everything that I have in me. I lost my mom and I'm still not making this team. What else do I have to lose? So then my sister sent me a letter. We never knew it was written, but mom wrote you this letter before you left for college and you just never got it. We want you to have it. She would want you to have it. It tapped into something totally different inside of me that I did not know was there. Out of pain, I found purpose. Purpose. I found peace. Jeremy was the kid that he just wanted to run into people. Run into you in the house, run into your leg, run into the back of you, and, and so I said, man, you need to play some football. In the first practice, I get leveled. I got drilled. I got hit right in the stomach, and it was something that knocked the wind out of me, and I was like, Dad, I don't want to play football anymore. <laughs> I really don't even know how my mom managed. She didn't want to play football. <laughs> She was afraid of him getting hurt, and of course there were times when he did, but he didn't care. <laughs> he just wanted to play. She was passionate, she was compassionate, she was generous, she was smart, very articulate, intelligent. You go ask anybody around here about Rose Price, that's what they'll tell you. They go to the slant, it is intercepted! Jeremy Reeves! On senior day, Jeremy Reeves blowing kisses to his family. There's a picture at my house a friend painted for me. It's from the South game. We had just beat Troy. My mom was in the stands, and I remember just going up to her and hugging her, and she has the biggest smile on her face. And I could just tell how happy and proud she was in that moment. That's something that I'll never forget. Welcome, football fans, to the 2018 NFL Draft. Going into the 2018 NFL Draft, my expectations were high. I had a mid-round grade on me. I was expecting to hear my name called. Picks are rolling in, rolling in, and just, I'm not hearing my name called. His agent called me. He said, don't say anything to Jeremy, but he's not going to get drafted. I was like, oh, my god. He felt football was over, his whole life playing football. And he was devastated. That's when I really realized that, like, my story's gonna be different from everybody else's. This is the path that I have to walk. Hey, Kat, turn me up a little bit. We're gonna have a draft after the draft with a bunch of teams that were calling and wanted me to sign contracts, and I ended up signing with the Philadelphia Eagles, fresh off of the Super Bowl. After we played the Jets my rookie year, I was released. I ended up getting cut on the final cut day, and then Washington called me for a workout. Went through the workout, did great, ended up getting signed. That's when the trilogy in Washington started. 2018, I signed into the practice squad and then was released. 2019 rolls around, go through preseason training camp, released again, signed to the practice squad. 2020 rolls around, going through OTA training camp, have a great year. I'm released again, I signed to the practice squad. Thanksgiving Day was my first defensive start. I had a great game, I had a great rest of the year. Then was released again the following year and signed to the practice squad. Reeves was always a bubble guy. He can make plays. He's always doing the right things in practice, but you're going against the best dudes in the world. His effort was tremendous. He volunteered for everything. He was always up front, always first, always doing the extra. And you recognize it right away, you really do. And then we got to the point where Camp's coming to an end, we've got to make our cuts. And so I remember him coming in, I remember telling him, I saw the disappointment, I really did. That was probably one of the rock bottom moments I had. I called my dad and I was just like, I don't know, this is really for me. That was the first time I really questioned myself in my life. Like, I keep getting told no, but I know I belong. Mom would say, I know you want it this way, but you never know what God is protecting you from. He may have to move things out of the way for you to get there, and you have to respect his decisions. That was her thing, God's way, not our way. 
it's the middle of the season. My sister called me and said that, uh, like they found my mom unresponsive. My mom had diabetes, and um, she would get sick when her sugar was low. And they're thinking that she possibly went into a diabetic coma and her heart stopped. Paramedics were working on her. I had to stay in another room. And after a few minutes, they said, we're sorry. And then I had to make the phone call to my brother. I think that was the hardest part, telling him. <laughs> because he wasn't there. Then he screamed and dropped his phone. Coach Rivera reaches out to me and he's like, hey, whatever time you need, take it. He came down for two days to help me prepare for her funeral and he went back to practice. That was mom. You don't quit, you keep going. She always would say, life happens, but you keep going. And he did. When I got back home after the season, my sister was like, hey, mom wrote you this letter before you left for college and you just never got it. When I read it, I read it as if she was saying it to me. It was almost like I was having a conversation with her that I had never had. You have always chosen to do things your own way. That is one of the attributes that I truly admire in you, the courage to be different and ignore all the noise around you. I always know that no matter where you are, that I love you fiercely and pray for your success in all in your endeavors. You will never know the countless sacrifices that have been made for you to succeed. But when you someday have your own family, you will understand. Strive to be the best man that you can be in all aspects of your life. Don't let anyone put limitations on you. <laughs> I have done all the things that I can do to instill good morals and character in you, but now you're about to embark on a journey to create your own path. I want you to know I'm so very proud to be your mother. <laughs> Love always, mom. <laughs> I needed that then. It had tapped into something totally different inside of me that I did not know was there. It gave me a whole nother why, of why I'm doing what I'm doing, what I'm doing it for, and what it means. I think he realized coming in that year, going through OTAs and minicamp, that I found a niche. And right away, he became one of our leaders on special teams. Alert out. He's been ready to make the 53 ever since he showed up. It's just another awesome dude in the lineup, like on the sideline, like, and he brings so much emotion. He brings so much energy. Now we finally made an opening day roster. It was emotional. I called my sister, cried, called dad, cried. Just like the triumph. Like that's one thing that, okay, we finally, we broke the cusp, all right? It was emotional for a short lived time, because it's like, all right, now it's time to game prep and get ready. His enthusiasm for whether he made it or his teammates made it was infectious to that group, and they all surrounded him, and they all got around him, and it was all important to them all. And I think Jeremy and Tressway and, and guys like that were the ones, the catalyst, to really help push that group over the top. You know, at the end of the season, coach came into the defensive room first, and he's like, hey, I need you to come holler at me. Anytime I've gotten that talk, like, I'm usually getting cut. So I'm like, I can't, I can't be getting released right now. No way. He calls me in, and he's got this disappointed look on his face. And so I'm like, what's going on right now? Congratulations. You're the Pro Bowl special teams guy. You're the starter. You earned it, young man. Everything you've done, and I know your mom would be proud. Jeremy was thinking of his mom, so I knew I had to say something. And you know how much his mom meant to him, doing everything she can to help create this opportunity for him so that he could have a moment like that. 
I knew he was thinking it. I just felt it. You earned it, young man. Seeing him emotional, I was so excited and so happy that it was hitting him, sinking in, in the moment. Nobody can ever take it away from him. 2022, first team all pro, Pro Bowl, can't take it away. It's there the rest of his life. One of the most gratifying things as, as a coach is to see a young man succeed. This one with Jeremy, because of who he is and the type of young man he is, it was also one of the more special ones. Everybody's like, what changed in the past four years? And it's just, you know, my mom's with me, you know? I felt her now more than ever. With the success that I have had, I felt her presence so much just in my everyday, day to day. And no more when I'm on the field, you know? Out there is when it's peace. I feel that on the field. I feel that, you know, in meetings when I watch them film. I feel that, you know, in workouts, you know, when things are a little tough and I don't want to do that extra rep like I'm thinking of mom. Just having that with me now has changed the trajectory of my life, not just in football, but just life in general.